these rhinestones. I'm saving them forever as well, because they're weights. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> that's foundation. And I'm so glad this video is done because that's really embarrassing. Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. If it is your first time here, bienvenidos a mi canal. My name is Karen Sarai and I do makeup videos on here. We do makeup, we talk funny stuff, I do challenges with my boyfriend, you know, it's a good place to be. So if you like that stuff, go ahead and subscribe because it is a good time on this channel. So today we're gonna be getting in on this makeup right here that I was trying to share off in a minute ago. It's a very fierce, cool look, I love it. This look was inspired by my beautiful, sexy, gorgeous friend Edie. I saw this look and screamed, really inspired with this entire look and wanted to do my take on it. So I decided to recreate the look. However, I'm using a different palette that she's using and I'm using the Artist Couture Minute Maven, which is Angel's first palette. If you guys don't follow Angel, Mac Daddy, or his brand Artist Couture, they have great highlights, glosses, and now their first palette. So I'm really excited to put this baby to work today. It comes with eight shadows and I played pretty much with all the purples. I'm obsessed. It looks beautiful and I really, really hope you guys love the look. So be sure to follow Edie's as well. She creates the most beautiful Beautiful looks ever and she's hilarious and we both have a dog named Osito. So if you guys are into today's video then continue watching. I also want to give you guys a heads up that this video is mainly eye focused. So we are focusing directly on the eyes. I will list all the products I use down below in the description box so you can see what I use. So be sure to check that out if you guys are interested in anything that I have on my face. That's all I got for the intro guys. I hope you're ready for today's video and without further uh doo doo. Let's go ahead and get into it. Update on my brows. They're growing. They're thriving. They're crazy, but we have to like, you know, get them nice and placed. So I'm going to go in with a super old product that I used to use. And that is my MAC Espresso eyeshadow. I don't even know what tempted me to use this today, but I just decided to pull it out. And I feel like it still performs the same way as it always has. It just fills them in nicely. You guys know I use normally pencils or gels. So this definitely leaves a softer touch on the brow. It's a little bit more natural and I'm not mad about it. My brows are really like thick. It sounds like there's a rake raking through my eyebrows. Listen. Comment below if you have a lot of hair. Like I don't mind it, but damn. I'm gonna go in next with this concealer and clean up underneath my brows. This is a must to get my brows to look nice and sharp. I feel like it just shapes the brow for me, gives me the arch that I really don't have, and also brightens up the brow area. It's just a must, I love it. Um, I do feel that it's important when you put it on to sketch it, be very light-handed, try not to like drag it or over-apply product, as it will look too drawn out. So just try to do it in the softest way possible. And then whatever's left, I'm just gonna go ahead and work it all over the lid just to kind of clean it up. Especially right here. I'm just gonna get that area nice and clean. I'm gonna grab a little bit more concealer. And by the way, I just used a little bit of the Too Faced Born This Way. Um, I really like this for cleaning up underneath of the brows. Like you can use almost anything, but this one I like it because it doesn't dry it down. It's really flexible if you have to kind of move it around. And I don't know, it just works great for right here. So I'm gonna go in now with the P. Louise base in the shade Winter Rose. Wait, I'm just gonna apply a decent amount onto my eyelid and then go ahead and pat it out. So I decided to do a pink base because we are obviously working with a lot of color today. Before I move into the main eyeshadow palette I'm gonna use today, I'm gonna go in with the Kylie blush and I am just gonna be adding this like right over the base. We are working with really bold shades today, so I do need a transition, but I didn't wanna add a tan transition because it just wouldn't go with the look. So applying blush as my transition. Lily, my bra girl, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry, but I just can't take this damn hair in. What is this? Look at this. You guys. Finally, we are gonna be playing with the new Artist Couture Midnight Maven palette. I'm super, super excited to show you guys how these colors perform. Obviously, I did this eye off camera. I always do my practice run, and I'm so impressed at how buttery and nice these colors went on, especially the bold colors. Bold colors sometimes don't always perform as nicely as, as brown neutral shades. So to me, if those bold colors perform amazing, you, the whole palette is, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. So I'm gonna tap into the shade Vixen, and this is gonna be my crease lid, pretty much the shade that's all over my eyes. So I'm taking this right in my crease, and then lightly 
going to the lid and then out. And then I'm gonna go in with another brush. This is from MAC. It is a 234 SES. So I think it's a special edition synthetic brush. So I'm gonna press this right in the middle of my eye, connecting it to the inner corner, and then kind of like rounding it out. So I'm doing this first because I really wanna build up this shade and intensify it and then blend it out. You see how it's much easier that just blended that for me? Like I placed the intensity where I needed it to, buffed it out with another brush, and boom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one more time, adding Vixen right in this area. Going in now with that brush again, and going in circular motion. And voila, I think we have a good amount of that pink on now. Next I'm gonna tap into the shade Nightcap. It's this dark purple right here, and I'm going to take this right in my crease first. We're gonna slowly build this shade up in the crease, and then pretty much all over, because this is gonna be technically like a smoky purple eye, so we have to, you know, connect, but it's really important to go just like in small steps so that everything looks nice and blended. All right, so there we have it for that on the eyes. We are gonna be cleaning up all of this and then probably a little bit on the crease as well, but for now, we are good. So I'm gonna move now into the lid color and I'm gonna use the shade Lights Out. This shade is so ridiculously beautiful. I just have to have to show you guys like a finger application. Like, do you see that? That shade is insane, it's beautiful. Um, these, again, can be applied on with the finger, with the brush, however you want. I'm gonna be playing style with my finger, ovio. And then in a minute, I'm gonna actually go in with the brush and I'll tell you guys why. Not a minute, like right now. So I'm gonna pick this up now with the brush. I'm gonna disperse the color up a little higher. And I'm actually gonna spray it on with some Fix Plus. I love wetting the color. You get like an insane amount of payoff from it as well. I feel like it reflects more. And I feel like it just truly pops everything. I'm gonna go with the wipe and do a cleanup underneath. And this time I am gonna make it kind of sharp underneath of the eyes. And then we'll obviously blend that out because that is just cray cray for me. So I'm now gonna go in with my concealer and this brush from Smith Cosmetics. It is the Smith 109 brush. And I'm using this one because it's rounded so it's gonna really clean up the sides. Smith brushes are the shit. They're so good. On the pricey side, yes, but quality is amazing with their brushes. I'm now gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Perma Precision Eyeliner, and I am just going to add this on my lash line. I do want a clean, thin line. I don't know about you guys, but I feel that I always need just a tad bit of eyeliner all the time, just to give my eyes a little bit of drama. I'm taking in now the shadow and just lightly going over. I was actually trying to smudge it out, but I'm like, yeah, this is like really intense. So, never mind. I'm going to now with the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. This is one of my favorites. Really helps to give my lashes tons of volume, makes them look bomb and big, and I just, I just love the way my lashes look with them. I'm just doing a little bit too because I'm gonna put on falsies, so there's no point in really um, getting them super, super big today, but I do always recommend to really style your lashes before. I'm popping on the Batty V Lash in the style Batty. Lately, I've been really liking wearing my lashes as close as I can to the outer corner to kind of extend the look of my eye, you know what I mean? Before, I used to be all about you know, putting it to the inner corner as much as possible. But I have to say, I like actually doing it this way a lot better. I'm taking in now the Becky G X Color Pop Highlight in the shade Cheeseman. I'm adding this right to the inner corner of the eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some gemstones on my eyes. I'm gonna be adding one to the inner corner and then one on my brow. See that right there? And that one right there. And then we're gonna do some underneath as well. But I wanna make sure that we do these first. I'm gonna go ahead and pop one of these right to the inner corner of the eye. 
just right there. And shout out to my Instagram fam for telling me about putting this on with eyelash glue, but not just any eyelash glue. You have to have it in this kind of form and the kind that comes in a tube like this. Um, I don't know what it is. Something about this works better than just regular lash glue. So I posted about these the other day on my Instagram and a lot of you guys were telling me that the glue just will stick it on and it did. Like I'm honestly very, very shocked and impressed at how nice they just went on. Just cause I don't really play with much rhinestone kind of stuff, but I'm really happy that I did. So there we have it for the lid and brow portion of the makeup. I mentioned to you guys, this is gonna be mainly eye focus. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my base and face makeup off camera. And then when I come back, we will finish off the bottom of the eyes and then the rest of the makeup. So I'll see you guys in three, two, one. Checking in, guys. Just finishing off my under eye concealer. I'm also watching Katie. Hey, guys, welcome oh. back to my channel. It looks delicious. All right, guys, what do you think? Ooh. I think I did a pretty damn good job. So I'm going to go back in with my palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Vixen and Nightcap, which are these two, to smoke out underneath of the eye. And I'm doing this with like a small detail pencil brush and just smoking it all underneath. It doesn't have to be so perfect right away, but I picked up just a little bit and I'm blending it as much as I can because I want the main color to be purple, but we do need that transition underneath. And now I'm gonna go in with that shade of nightcap and go as close as I can into my lash line. And then now back with that pencil brush and going right over it again to just kind of marry these two colors together. I'm gonna take this eyeliner from Makeup Forever called Versatile Purple. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this onto my waterline. I'm also gonna work it into my lash hair. I don't know if you guys can see me doing that. And by having the shadow underneath first, it allows me to be kind of sloppy and be able to get in there. All done with the eyes. Now the best part is adding the rhinestones. I feel like this is gonna be my newest obsession, just randomly adding a rhinestone somewhere on my makeup. So this will not be the last. I'm gonna go back in with the House of Lash glue and I'm just gonna place the rhinestone right in the middle. There we go. It's really easy to do, but just know like I'm just kind of popping it right where I want it to be. What's crazy is that this glue is not my favorite for my lashes. Like I don't like putting my lashes on with this glue, but I've always had it, you know, just in case I ever, ever need some type of backup or if I ever just feel like using it. And the other one's gonna be right at the end of my eye. Last, last, last step is adding mascara to your lower lashes. So I'm just going to tap a little bit on, only because I don't want it to cover up my rhinestones and I don't want it to also take over my entire eye. We're all done with the look. I'm gonna go ahead and back up the camera now so you guys can see the final look. Woohoo! Who that? Who that? Look at this. I'm obsessed with this makeup look. Like super, super obsessed. Like I said, I feel like I need to start incorporating rhinestones more in my makeup looks. I don't know how I feel about the rhinestone right there. I thought it'd be kind of different and fun, but you guys let me know if there's like a certain placement that's better than what I just did. I just wanted to do something where I incorporated the stones in here. So this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, everything that I did off camera, face, lips, highlight, all of that will be listed down below in the description. So be sure to check that out if you guys are interested in the products that I use. And if you guys want to see any of my, my foundation routines, I do have them on my other videos. So be sure to check those out so you can see how I get this right here because it's all the same steps. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Los quiero mucho. And I will see you in the next video.